Hey guys, it's so good to be back. Um, I am going to spend a little bit of time storytelling. I want to share some of these pieces with you and the stories um, from where they're from. So first things first, I'm going to start with our dainty paper bead necklace. So this thing unravels. It's a really long necklace made for you to be able to double it, triple it, wear it as a bracelet, style it however you want to. So this necklace is handmade in Uganda, and Uganda is where um, our business originated. So our founder, Jessica Honiger, was in the process of adopting her son from Rwanda. And she was trying to raise funds for that. And she had met a friend, Jolia, who lives in Uganda. Jolia has all of this beautiful um, jewelry and accessories. And Jessica falls in love with it, fills her suitcase with it, comes back to Austin, Texas, sets up the first Noonday Trunk Show in her house, opens her house as a marketplace, invites all of her friends. They all come in, fall in love with the jewelry, buy the jewelry, and that was the first ever Noonday Trunk Show. So it all started in Uganda with their handmade and hand-rolled and naturally dyed paper beads. So that's the dainty paper bead necklace. The next thing I want to show you is the sundial earrings from Ecuador. I was wearing these in another one of my other videos, um, but these are made from the natural seeds of fruit. So you have hand carved and naturally dyed tagua seed and then hand carved wood. I love the way that these look. I love the way that they dangle. Um, these are super fun and they're also super in style right now. You'll see something very similar to this anywhere that you go. So these are amazing. The sundial earrings in Ecuador where they use natural fruit seeds to make their jewelry. The next thing I want to show you or advertise is Vietnam. Vietnam is super cool. They use ethically sourced water buffalo to make their jewelry. So this, these are called the lovely lace earrings and this is hand carved water buffalo horn. So if you'll notice on the back, there's that dark spot right there and any of our ethically sourced water buffalo horn pieces that you buy, the shade varies. So you could get a really dark pair, you could get um, a light pair. I also wanna show you how the shade varies in this golden arrows necklace. If you can notice how there's lighter pieces and darker pieces, um, the water buffalo horn pieces, all of the shades vary. So the golden arrows necklace and the lovely lace earrings. I love our partners in Vietnam. Okay, everyone always falls in love with our pieces from Ethiopia. So kind of very similar to the dainty um, paper beads necklace. This is the Betty Rope necklace from Ethiopia. Now Ethiopia creates their jewelry out of upcycled artillery, which is bullets, to beads. So they are using objects, they're transforming objects of violence into objects of beauty. So if you look closely, these are little bullets that were melted down to create this necklace. They have earrings um, made out of the upcycled artillery. We sell a few other necklaces um, and then we have a couple of bracelets as well made out of upcycled artillery. So it's really cool to be able to wear something that tells such a fascinating and incredible story. That is Ethiopia. Okay, the next ones I want to show you are the feathered fringe earrings, if I can pick them up, from India. These are a bestseller for me. You've got that layer of gold in the back, a layer of blush on the, in the middle, and then a layer of taupe on the front. These are so fun. Actually, the, these earrings as well are from India too. They have a thing for um, feathers. Feather fringe earrings. <laughs> um, India, they have, they work with a lot of leather. Um, they work with metal. Um, they 
are some of our top sellers because they are the ones that we partner with to make our handmade leather bags. There's going to be a really cool video that you guys get to see um, about how our leather products are made. Y'all, it takes like 45 days for one bag to be made. This is the Monterey bag. It's also handmade in India. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is handmade. Can you believe it? And I love carrying it. This is actually my purse. Okay, that was India. What's next? Southeast Asia. If I had to pick a favorite, it's probably going to be our group in Southeast Asia. So I'm wearing the necklace, but we have lots of other ones to choose from. But I am wearing the Belief necklace. It's got this dainty little cross. And this piece is 14 karat gold plated jewelry. And it is created by women that have been rescued from sex trafficking in Southeast Asia. Let me make sure I got that back on. We are partnered with these people, um, with these individuals. We aren't really allowed to say much about them because of the scenario of which they were rescued from. But um, they are brought to us, rescued out of brothels, and they are put through a program, if they're willing, if they want this, um, that just, it's a year-long program that counsels them, that educates them, that helps them get back on their own two feet. Um, and per, they get a dignified job. They're provided with a dignified job. They are um, able to make fair living wages. If they have children, the children are taken in and they get to stay with their children. There's childcare for their kids. They're taught um, just a whole new, brand new way to live. Um, it's absolutely beautiful what, what we do with them and the opportunities of freedom and um, just dignified work that they get to do that they are saved from and rescued from. Every piece from our storyline collection, that's what the collection is called from this group in Southeast Asia, comes in a little white box with gold foliage and it is signed by the artisan that made your piece. So y'all, it doesn't get much better than that. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's move on. Those are my favorite. <laughs> um, the next one I want to show you is our group in Kenya. They work with a lot of brass. These are our Halcyon hoops. Ooh, can you see it? These are super cool. So this piece would go all the way through. It would um, thread through your ear and sit like this. These are super unique. These are super fun. I did uh, an open market one time back in February, I believe. We were working with Renew All Candles here in Memphis. And I think I sold maybe four or five of these on the spot. I was wearing these that day. They sold like hotcakes. Um, and then last but not least, um, our artisan partners in Guatemala. So in Guatemala, they work with a lot of glass beads. These are our, our Azores earrings. These are really beautiful. So if you wanted to dress up, you can see, you've got this silver on top and gold on bottom. These are super versatile, super fun. You can dress them up, well, that doesn't work, or dress them down. That doesn't work either. You can't see them at all. Um, they blend with my hair. <laughs> but these are super fun, super cute. They look like little jellyfish. So Guatemala works with a lot of um, glass beads, and then they also work with a lot of fabric, traditionally worn um, fabric, hand-woven fabric from that has just been passed down from generations. It really is incredible to learn about those stories of the, um, we have a couple of bags from Guatemala, we have a couple of makeup bags and jewelry rolls to carry your jewelry in, and then we also sell luggage tags, and the luggage set tags are super cool um, all created with this uh, fabric that's been passed down from generations. So, uh, oh, one more thing. This is our book that was written by um, our founder and CEO, Jessica Honiger. This tells the story of Noonday Collection. It tells the story of Jessica's adoption. And it is, I love this book. It really is an incredible um, story of life change, story of hope. Um, and if you want to learn more, we sell this book as well. Um, yeah, and it's available on the website. So that was just a little tip of styling and storytelling with you. Um, but keep on watching because the show's not over.